You are listening to The Kentucky X-Files Season 3, with your hosts Dennis Mays, Tyler Stewart, and Josh Gibbs. Don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. You can also visit us at www.kyxfiles.com. <laughs> that, was a, that was a great... Um... It was a great Pepto. I like the, uh, yeah, the feeling I got from from that. It was, uh, it was good Welcome stuff. back, guys, to your Kentucky X Files. Ah! Uh, <laughs> I'm just what like I was like sitting there. I was like, this is not recording. Uh, okay. <laughs> How long ago did you realize that? Halfway through. Shoot a text next time. <laughs> Just I thought you were just show. At first, I was like, "Is he just showing it to us?" Because like trying to make editing easier, since I'm gonna be, you know, watching later. <laughs> gotcha. Just a little, little text. Well, the thing is, is like I was like, like you used an old thumbnail, so I was like, yeah, yeah, but I, I yeah, I mean, they just go pop another one over it. Yeah, I was just gonna drag one over it. He was just audio with even. Oh, uh, gotcha. Yeah, because yeah. I have to like line up our audio <laughs> with it and you know everything. And it's it just takes it takes a little bit more time, but it's fine. You out there, you probably don't want to hear about any of this, do you? Or do you? A little behind the scenes. Yeah, I'm giving you the backstage exclusive right yeah, now. Yeah, we're uh, VIP pass professionals. <laughs> professional yeah i didn't realize it wasn't recording but i knew exactly what the hell you were doing so yeah i was like just as guilty sizzle right into this you know be great yeah get it well now you you just rub there we go i was gonna say now you're just rubbing your finger oils all over the lens and it's just gonna get (laughs) more cloudy like, uh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> looking like bathroom glass over there. If he would, if he would do that and show up in a towel. <laughs> hey guys, just reporting from the shower. The the, the lens all fogged up. That'd be perfect. <laughs> you guys out there listening, you have no idea what you miss when you don't watch the YouTube video. You miss all this good, this good stuff. You know. Um. We've been looking into the the UFO thing a lot lately, and turns out Peru has had some encounters of the whatever kind. Uh, I, I tell you, I've got a, a short story of the same. Uh, uh, what would it be? Um, subject matter. Yeah. Um, that we could start off with. And cool. then that'll yeah. lead us into the much longer discussion that is going to be Peru because there's a lot more information on that one. Oh, yeah. So you, you want me to go ahead and give you a little yeah, backstory? Yeah, yeah. And then, then I'll, I'll give you a little backstory and then I'll share the video. Okay. <clears throat> so apparently in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, hang on a second, I got to move my phone because the mouse won't work for some reason. Um, maybe. So I was going to buy a mouse yesterday. But Best Buy wasn't open when I was over there picking up the meat because, <laughs> you know, that's my luck. <laughs> um, so in Fort Lauderdale, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, man, that is an unfortunate name to say. Um, Fort Lauderdale. A fellow by the name of Carmen Rich spotted a UFO in a thunderstorm. That's and pretty cool. took video of all of it. Nice. This is why I love the UFO people. Yeah. There's all yeah. kinds of pictures of it. And then I'll, I'll, I'll play the video here. Let me share my screen. Yeah. All right. Check, check it out. All right. So I'll start at the bottom here and show all the pictures. So there's one of the pictures. There's another one. Oh. All right, and then here is what the, the video. fuck the video. 
Esto como un, como un extraterrestre, algo así. What the fuck? Una bola candela en el, en el aire, mira para eso, tú. Mira aquello, mira, 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 It could be like one of those flares that we talked about. Like we talked about. God damn it, my fucking green screen sucks. Um, but then I like it started to show like like wings almost, if you would say. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, um, Yeah, there was like an actual like structure behind, like in front of the swirling flame. I guess you. Hibiscus. Hibiscus. Probiscus. Hibiscus is a flower. I can act. <laughs> I can make up words too. I can be more photosynthesis, Denny. Yeah. Touche. Touche. Okay, sir. Also a flower word. What, are we gardeners now? All of a sudden. I don't know. I, I don't know cosmopolitans. Girly anyway. Girl. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> Dude, I've just been letting the list just, just like we just gave a brain Josh a brain. <laughs> like we we gotta we gotta maintain a subject matter. If we're yeah. gonna be, I, I can't be, you know, jumping around like that. <laughs> He's like, God damn it, I'm not in my gardening gear either. Right? What the Dude, fuck? I don't have my big straw hat. It when I was when I was watching it and uh. <laughs> It looked like first it looked like the light was rotating, but then as they like zoomed in, it looked like the thing behind it was rotating, but then it looked like they were kind of independent of each other. Yeah. So that threw out my whole like seagull theory like instantly. It kind of looked seagulls like seagulls even have that kind of technology. I mean, maybe if they were on fire and there was two of them, but yeah, it kind of looked like, um, <laughs> what's that, uh, <laughs> <laughs> like they're <laughs> one's on fire and the other one's frantically trying to put his buddy out. Yeah. <laughs> How you did you in this, this epic fucking dog fight? Yeah. What? Well, no, you know what it is. You know, seagulls will steal your food. So he just happened to go by one of those restaurants where they have like the flambe. <laughs> yeah. Right as the waiter was lighting it on fire, he tried to oh. snatch it and he was like, poof. <laughs> this little birdie ball of fire goes up into the sky and his buddy's out there like, what are you doing, stupid? You stay away from the mouth. French. Stay away from the French restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it de definitely had like a, a gyroscope feel to it, where it was yeah. like two things connected but moving independently. <laughs> Is there any way we can watch it one more time? Or did you close it? I I closed it out. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. We don't have the technology. Yeah, I, I could I could pull it back up without audio. <laughs> Let's see. They need to make an instant replay button on uh, StreamYard here. You StreamYard tech guys, you should be working on that. We need a button where we can be like, boop, and then replay something. Right. Well, I've, beep, I've, beep, beep. okay, so you guys are going to love this. I've got an ad for some sort of drink. So, the Cosmopolitan? I, it had cranberries in it. It's close enough for me. It's half of a hundred in my book. Right. All right. I'm going to share <laughs> it over here. Won't be any audio this time, but that's okay because, you know, unless our Spanish speaking listeners were listening, they had should, no I, idea being said. should I reenact the stuff he was saying? <laughs> I mean, we got subtitles. Oh, okay. I was going to say, what the fuck is that? I don't know, Jose. <laughs> you see Tyler go white on me there. <laughs> Actually, I can't see any of you guys because I'm in full screen. Oh. Yeah, see, that's... That's rotating. And now it's... What are we 
looking at, man? It's probably just lens flare. Yeah. <laughs> you know, just just lens flare in general. Huh. Is that what lens flare looks like when you zoom in? Sure. That's crazy. <laughs> you know, this is so wild that I almost question the authenticity of it. That's exactly what I was just thinking. I mean, we are in the AI age now. Right. Or the AI age. I mean, I'm going as slow as I can with this. Is that is that looking all wonky on your guys' screen, or is it good? That's good. I mean, are you able to adjust the speed of the playback? Uh, I, I can, guess not, huh? I can adjust the quality. It's a 540 auto. I can put it on 720 and see what we get. Okay. All right. Not much better. Yeah. <clears throat> enhance. Zoom and enhance. Enhance. I don't know yeah. why. I, you see when I click here, it jumps back like twice as much. I don't know what's going on with this thing. It's a weird player. I don't know. I mean, interesting though. I just want to know, like, wh what made it, like, it was a big ball of fire or whatever it is, like, spinning. And then out of nowhere, it kind of dims down and shows something behind, or, yeah, I guess, yeah, behind it. Right. So, well, if it is an AI creation of some sort, it did kind of look like they're trying to create a, okay, I don't know if it's real or fake, but. If it was a fake, then it makes me think that whoever made it was a sci-fi nerd. Because it's a you know, I, I'm I my biggest belief is that they they use something to to manipulate gravity. It's how they move so fast. Because if you can manipulate gravity, well, you don't have to experience G force moving that fast. And you need something that can create a singularity, and it almost looked like that's that spin that thing that it was making was some kind of wind down of a of a something like maybe they just popped in and it was like slowly winding down to you know i put the um i put the link in the private chat on here so if you wanted to if either one of you guys wanted to try to rip the video or you know, manipulate it with photoshop tie or whatever um it's it's there for you uh, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm there now. That's fucking wild, man. We can watch it on YouTube, so I'm gonna go to YouTube. It's fucking interesting, man. I don't know. Oh. Do you guys notice that the like the apparent UFOs and aliens they they don't really have a certain aesthetic they stick to in the designs of their ships? Right. It's every I mean, it's always a new design. It's always something else. It's like Either they're constantly innovating or there's multiple species competing against each other for the first two are going to like, you know, either discover earth or, or enslave it or, or destroy it or whatever, or it's multiple different, you know, craftsmen out there making these videos. Right. I was just about to say, they probably have different, <clears throat> like car companies ufo companies it's like that's like the bmw i mean that's a really fucking valid point right there or uh, yeah, economic the triangle yeah. yeah the triangle is like the range rover 
So, you know, I mean, well, even even if you like step back away from that and look at our our, our um, airplanes, a Boeing seven forty seven looks nothing like you know a Lockheed. Yeah, you know, you know, there's that's true. Yeah. What's the, what's the name of that one plane? The Lockheed had that was a supersonic flight plane. Um, what what was it? A uh, Blackhawk or whatever. Uh, no, I'm not thinking the Blackbird SR-71 Black. I'm thinking like the the commercial flight plane. Condor, the Concord. 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 Yeah, yeah, the Concord. The Concord looks nothing like a 747. They yeah. both fly, but everything about them is different. But you made an excellent point too. SR-71 Blackbird is completely different. Yeah, uh, the Stealth Bomber is completely different. I was just about to say, yeah, the Stealth Bomber one. I you guess know. what I'm getting at is that. Like uh, although the aesthetics of each plane is adjusted for functionality, I mean you you have your airlines, you have your your fuselage, you have you know the basic same you know. But some of these are like fucking triangles. Some of them are like balls of light. Some of them are whatever the hell you know, the fiery fucking seagull there. Yep. You know, like they're they're so <clears throat> vastly different, and yet they they seem to like use the same apparent physics i don't or lack thereof i don't know you know right no i, I see where you're coming at with it you know but this i kind of see where tyler's coming from with it too is like it, it, even if everything even if okay so if aliens are real and ever and everything they say is true that they're coming to come come you know investigate us or whatever um and then if they're all even coming from the same planet there's a solid possibility that all of their ships would look different you know, like I'm curious. I've never seen what does the um, like I know what our space shuttles look like, and they've looked the same since the '60s. But what do the cosmonaut space shuttles look like? Uh, let's, let's. I really think the, the Tech Tac one. That's the the Hyundai mm-hmm. of the of the of the UFOs. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I, I can give maybe <clears throat> I'm just I'm going off a look, not like well, speed wise, I'd probably say that's probably more of a like Ferrari. Like, cause man, they, the speed of that one was like going fast as shit. All right, right. check this out. Uh, if I can get it to overlay here, it's kind of it's actually kind of what I'm talking about. Okay, I lost it. Where's it at? <clears throat> Can't tell if I uploaded the right picture or not. There's nothing in the overlay. To... There we go. Here's a new one. Oh, that's kind of like your your basic Russia Russian space shuttle versus ours. It, it kind of what I'm talking about, you know? Yeah, that's uh, eerily similar actually yeah it's like so similar in fact that i would say it was probably manufactured by the same company well probably but at the same time it's also like what what sciences are we dealing with what is the most optimal design to get that where it needs to go (laughs) right and is it a common known science which is kind of like kind of more what i was saying is like we build these similar because we know that so far this is the most optimal way to do it or, or it was up until whatever point, you know? So that's where I'm at with the UFOs. It's like, if there's a, you know, like an optimal way to travel interstellar space, why all the like absolutely like crazy variances in, in design, you know? But then again, we, that for us personally, that, works because those like those spacecrafts actually have to return into an atmosphere but any other spaceship itself like like you don't have to have that style you don't have to have wings because there's nothing out there for lift or like it's like for the return trip yeah it's for the return trip that's it yeah so we're basing it off of how we do like they don't need those wings to get out they're using the like that like 
that huge tank, like tank and thrusters on the uh, <coughs> under it to propel it to the uh, to outer space. Yeah. So, but the wings and stuff and stuff like that are only to help it land when it comes back. Yeah, but if you if you take a step above that, leaving those details like yeah. behind, they're happenstance details at this point. I'm saying that there's an optimal science involved. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I can't think of anything like like a ship's uh, like a like a propeller on a on a ship. You know, like the like a, a regular old uh, boat. Yeah. You know, I mean, your 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 basic like turbine design. Uh, you know, why has it not changed since its invention? It's been tweaked a little, but overall, it's the same. Yeah, because it's the optimal way to do it. It's because yeah. it's a simple machine, and there's only yeah. so many simple machines, and simple machines work in our physics um, that we yes. have on Earth. I just feel like, uh, and then on top of it too, it's like you got to think about uh, like yeah, different designs, people trying different things. Like, come on, I hate it the most, and I probably would, like I don't know if any of our listeners this way. Fucking rotary engines, come on, fuck you. I'm sorry, those things are the dog shit. But why did we have to reinvent the wheel? But that's they that's did. Kinda it is like the wheel. The wheel works because it just works, and it. The wheel has it's changed in materials, but it hasn't really changed in fundamentals. Yeah. The only thing I can think of is if there if there really is that big of a variance in actual UFO sightings and design, then it has to mean that they're coming from different places with different atmospheres and different environments. Each one is built to withstand their place and ours. See, that brings up a really, really interesting question then right <clears throat> atmosphere we know that atmospheric pressure is different depending on where you're at we have one atmosphere right how could you possibly build a ship somewhere else and just get lucky enough <laughs> functions in our atmosphere i mean you would have to have collected data ahead of time you would have had to somehow get data back to wherever you're building your your ship from and and go off of the data you've collected i guess that's why I, like for the longest time i'm like dude i didn't think there's any aliens in them ships i'm like it's probes man they're they're gathering shit they're gathering evidence you know apparently they're also taking they're gathering faces off of people in peru yeah yeah we <laughs> i think i think it's time we dive into that yeah and then this, i've got i got one special treat for the end of the show so awesome this um this story is all over the place right now uh it's all over youtube it's all over the internet for a small village in peru attacked by seven foot tall aliens all right and i know what you're asking you're like but denny didn't we have seven foot tall aliens in las vegas i don't know probably but this one is awesome because <laughs> I don't know. Probably. This, what's more interesting about this story to me, other than the fact that they're well, other than the the alleged fact is that there might be aliens attacking random villages in Peru. Uh, Peru is long known for the last cu like couple of decades for its UFO uh mysteries and things like that alien sightings ufo sightings out the ass um what do they call them the the peru lines or whatever the the crazy lines all over the place that all oh, the lines and shit you talking about the nazca lines yeah or is, is that in peru i think so somebody was i was reading something about it something something about the the peru peruvian lines or something i don't know i've got to look it up now i can't just leave that information out there and being wrong my favorite thing about this whole story <coughs> is it follows the American news uh, formula to the T. It starts off with a bunch of people in Peru putting out videos saying there's there's giant seven foot creatures, aliens attacking our, our towns and 
you know, we're, we're scared. We don't know what to do where we, you know, we're freaking out down here. There's, you know, there's, there's people snapping pictures of this shit, right? That's one of the, that's a still image from one of the cell phones. Uh, these things rode around flying on these things, right? Whatever that is. Everybody keeps joking that it's a green goblin, right? <laughs> right. Okay. So that starts a week ago or more, and it starts getting a little bit of traction. People start talking about it on every every uh, YouTube channel and, and podcast or whatever. And then following the formula perfectly. Mystery's over, guys. Now the now the United States news is involved. Mystery's over, guys. It's gold miners. You guys didn't hear about gold miners that fly around on fucking hoverboards? You guys, you guys didn't hear about that? It's a, it's a new thing. So uh, the, okay, let's let's back up and punt on this one a little bit. Um, <laughs> one, I was correct. The Nazca lines are in Peru. Awesome. And they're also in a Mastodon song. So that's sweet. Um, <laughs> the other thing is, is that are they, are they trying to say that the aliens that those people in Vegas saw were random gold miners? Yeah. See, once you mine the gold though, you're going to want to go gamble <clears throat> it. You know what I mean? Right. But what were so, they doing in those people's backyard slash like, construction business parking he was riding his hoverboard man he was yeah, doing he, sweet jumps yeah he like the all the gold that they had like <laughs> like all right so fucked okay. up their trajectory is is that picture from vegas or from peru this is from peru okay i was gonna say <laughs> we don't have that good of a photo from vegas <laughs> there's well, a, that, a video well, clip the, that that came from where people are filming it and freaking the fuck out. I'm like, I'm like, I wish I was there so I could be like, that's just a gold miner. Right. Don't, nothing to worry about. He's on his <laughs> way to Vegas. Now, are we confirmed these are um, aberrant gold miners? <laughs> like, do we have I'm confirmation? Do we have one in captivity is what I'm looking for. I'm just saying, like, they have, like, some crazy technology. Like, I thought the government is the ones that are supposed to have this type of technology before anybody. But gold miners is where it's at. Like, um, but I was just say, uh, about to say, uh, what was it? Uh, the color. Like, I, it's kind of like a, a brighter green. But in the uh, the Vegas video that what they said they saw crash was like a like a lighter blue i don't know if they change colors i was just uh, i just wanted to throw that out there i couldn't say i mean no camera the thing that's cracking me up with this is like these people are tr are sending out videos over and over again you know like freaking out Asking the world for, for some kind of assistance. Please help us. There's seven foot tall fucking monsters flying around our, our village. Anybody? Please? America's like, shh. <laughs> Don't even worry about it. Sure does look like a fucking gold miner. I really wish I had a zoomed out uh, in, uh, a view of that because it's really hard to discern exactly what we're looking at because it does kind of look like the Green Goblin, <laughs> right? But it also kind of looks like um, somebody drew Louise from Bob's Burgers in green, <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, gold miners. Just saying, man. Yeah, you know, well, once once we get involved up here in America, you don't even have an alien problem anymore. We we're like, nah, man. I think it's I think it's probably has something to do with this whole disclosure. They're like, hold up, baby steps. Okay, we we just admitted UFOs. We're not ready for this yet. You know, give right. us time. 
which is pretty funny because uh oh i actually have some other stuff that came out of peru i don't know if you guys have seen any of this. Say, i'm gonna say the link i sent you that you started diving into um there was like pictures of people carrying the guy with the face ripped off too wasn't there yeah yeah so i think we should definitely dive into that you see a lot of this stuff came out of peru and apparently there was a whole big thing about them opening that up and taking dna out of it and stuff what the f where was this and why was this uh they claimed it was a it it was a non-human mummy that was in peru uh hold on uh see the key night alien mummies of peru yeah was, can, they said some believe it's uh one of the most important finds uh in, in modern times they dubbed the uh mummy maria it's three fingers on each hand that are extremely long um while uh, mummies excite historians Usually, this particular find may alter the story of human origins forever. Dating back around 1,600 years or more, some experts say it's evident of an ancient reptilian race. Probably gold miners. I mean, those long, slender fingers are perfect for gold mining. Yeah, you can get in there and you... Yeah, I mean, the not gold out. they're obviously not using pickaxes because I don't see a thumb. Yeah, I found some gold. I'll put that in my hoverboard. <laughs> Just say it, man. It's like <laughs> sixteen hundred years ago. You know, every bit of gold you could get together to buy a hoverboard was probably important. That's that's fair. The Peru alien thing is another one that's been kind of. Uh, it started off with holy shit, Peru again. Holy shit, guys, we found this alien mummy with three fingers. And for a while, it was a big story, you know? It kind of kept coming out, kept popping up, whatever. And then we get involved. There's a, there's a pattern here. If you're not picking it up, we get involved, and we're like, Shh. Mm. Gold miners. Gold miners. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> swamp gas and they're like literally scientists holding this mummy like this isn't weird to you guys like that's not weird this is weird to us and we found it in our own home you know and we're like don't even worry about it not a big deal so we, we're gonna need we, that body though we're gonna need are, to take that are we gold miner explaining uh the f guys that are getting their faces ripped off like did they have like i mean gold piercings i feel like what probably happened there i'm a, i learned a lot from my my government and my my united states news here i feel like what happened is is the aliens were actually investigating a series of mysterious occurrences and they found the guy who was responsible and they went to take his mask off to to they fucking scooby dooby him. Yeah, they were trying to like expose he was the real <laughs> villain. <laughs> and he's like, ah, damn you gold miners. <laughs> Let's see who's behind this. <laughs> yeah. I'd have got away with it too if it wasn't for you meddling gold miners. <laughs> you damn seven foot gold miners on your hoverboards, always getting into my business. Yeah, I, you, you ever notice that lately the cover ups are just as fucking ridiculous as the story in the beginning? Pretty soon we're going to be like, there's going to be a new story and they're going to be like, guys, we have aliens, we have contact. And we're going to be like, thank fucking God, man. Thank you. Because I couldn't handle another gold miner story. Right. I mean, it's, you know, it's Seven getting really foot. difficult to tell the difference between what is actually being pumped out in the news and, and a story from somebody like the onion. What if, what if the news has been under this AI thing for like the last decade or so? Like we ran out of news and they're just creating AI they're just news. making AI news, like just spitting it out. You know, I mean, I, 
I wholeheartedly believe that that is something they would do. I know the fucking weatherman's doing that. Right. I know for a fact that a couple years ago, maybe like eight years ago or so, somewhere in that ballpark, that people on uh, a website called 4chan were planting fake news stories by creating these fake news stories, and the news was picking them up and running with them. Yeah. You know, so I would not be even slightly surprised if there's so yeah you know, okay so let me back up on this one too have you noticed that like the news runs like almost 24 hours a day yeah there's not that much fucking news yeah how could there be there, there can't be there can't be news it, it, there can't be that much so maybe like that's it what it is depends. i mean it's really not because i mean it, you think about it like the weather changes throughout the day sure but how many newsworthy events happen that's the thing like there's there's i wouldn't say newsworthy but there's news that's what i'm saying like there's news but not as much as you think there is but then on top of it there's like just random stuff that's happening that people i guess have to know about like a car crash or somebody stub their toe at their local ymca i i don't fucking know like people like we decide what like news is like for for some odd reason we want to know all this bullshit and then when real news actually happens i don't feel like we get the full story because everybody's like scrambling to get their own piece of it or get it there get there first yeah, I don't know, man. Like, the news used to not be on as much. Like, nowhere near as much. And we were... You know what I mean? It's like, okay, so if we have the news at 10, yeah, mm-hmm. and we have the news at 11, probably nothing happened in that hour. Because that's why a lot of times it's always a recap. They just keep telling the same shit over and over again. They're running out of... 